Thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. And I'm Calvin Sneed in for Latrice Curry. Hemp-based products are legal in the state of Tennessee, but these products still raise concerns with some folks. Channel 3's Claudia Coco spoke with a TBI agent today about the issues he sees with hemp regularly, even though it's legal. Claudia. Greg Calvin, Special Agent Tommy Farmer with the TBI told me that hemp and marijuana look and smell the same, which not only causes issues for law enforcement, but for people growing it and consuming it as well. Special Agent in charge of the Drug Division for the TBI, Tommy Farmer, says while the growth of hemp is legal in Tennessee, it still looks and smells like marijuana, making it difficult for law enforcement to distinguish without testing the product. Up the door with the transfer of these products, if you can't tell the difference between marijuana, uh, high-grade marijuana, and low-THC uh, cannabis hemp. He says he has seen thefts, vandalisms, assaults, and aggravated assaults related to hemp. Where people are going in and stealing these products um, and then selling these products because they look like it, they act like it, it looks just the same. It may not have the THC concentration, but there's no way that you can tell the difference by looking at that. The Tennessee Department of Health also issued a public health advisory on hemp in 2018, warning people about the risk associated with products derived from cannabis, marijuana, and hemp that claim to benefit health. In the advisory, it states that there are a limited number of conditions where there is substantial and conclusive evidence for using cannabis-derived products as medication. Uh, any use of those products for that recommendation for food, dietary supplements, or medicine that is unapproved by FDA uh, is, is we're cautious about that. And the Tennessee Department of Health states that there are three prescription cannabis-based products that are approved by the FDA available to Tennesseans. Farmer says if it's not regulated by the FDA, people should ask questions about the product they're purchasing. Know, know the source, know and ask questions about, is it approved for this? The Department of Health in their health advisory states the safety of untested, non-FDA approved products remain unknown. Live in the studio, Claudia Coco, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Claudia.